Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius for the month of February. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this reading may not be for you, okay? It may not be. We get people that still don't get it. You know, they write something below that's something stupid. If, if you write something stupid, you were either triggered or the reading wasn't for you. So... Anyhow, uh, what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February at any time? What do we have for Aquarius? We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. Rejection. Rejection. So there is some sort of rejection here. Somebody is uh, either doing the rejecting or feeling the rejection. Okay, but there's obviously going to be a rejection this month in some arena. Okay, or the card wouldn't be here, right? And it's here. So, it's sad. It is sad. It is sad. It's sad when there is a feeling of rejection, you know, whether you need to do it or... You know, somebody's doing it to you. Now, you notice it's a 13. I just happened to pick out that number. 13 is the number on the death card, which is a transformation. With endings, there is always a new beginning, okay? With a release, you have an opportunity to start something new. So there must be some sort of ending in your life that you are experiencing right now. And you may be feeling at a loss over this. So let's get two of these. What do we have for Aquarius? Definitely going through a transition. Oh, there's one. We're going to get two. Wishbone. Oh, another one. They, they're both flipping right over, too. Interesting. Wishbone. A wish is granted. I. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. So... Obviously, you know what you need to do. You know what is happening. You're seeing things clearly. Perhaps you subconsciously wished for this. Okay? Because, you know, your subconscious thoughts, uh, be, your thoughts become things. Right? So, hmm, there is definitely a wish being granted. It may not be what, I mean, it's what you want. But it does involve a rejection, which is interesting. So, hmm. you are definitely uh, going through a very intuitive time. You're receiving messages, and you're being called to listen to them. And maybe these messages are telling you that you need to reject. You know, you need to reject somebody. But it's not always easy. It's not easy, especially when you know the other person is going to be her. But you got to follow your heart, right? You do. So what do we have for Aquarius for February? Just bring this back a little bit. What do we have for Aquarius for February? Page of Cups. There could be a new offer of love, okay? Or emotional support. Um, there could be a crush or somebody could be love struck. Um, there's an admirer of some sort. We'll focus this in just a minute. Ooh, moving very fast. Transformation could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is this is dealing with opposition. But this is, I would consider this reversed. I would, just the way that it has landed. I would say that this there's there could be an emotional outburst ahead. Some it's definitely an emotional time with these two cards. There's emotions on the table here already. So you're going to be feeling very emotional because there's this is a card of transformation as well. There's change here. Okay, there is some sort of change that you are experiencing. Let me lay out the rest of these cards then we'll focus it in. And you got one extra card. 
so I'm going to put it right here. It just came out in my hand, so I have to take it. Um, so Aquarius, Aquarius for the month of February. So Aquarius, you're about to give birth to a new life, okay? This is a painful situation that you have been through. I think that you have... Uh, became somebody or you have yeah you have became somebody different and it's been through um, life experience you've experienced something if you are the masculine Aquarius watching this you may have a empress in your sights okay you have some this person is tender loving care this person is beautiful this person gives their all this person is generous this person is uh uh, loving, very sensual, very sexual, very um, nurturing. This person uh, is uh, loyal and abundant, has their shit together. So if you are the Aquarius uh, watching this, you are probably, you probably have your sights on this person. Could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be anybody. Um, but if you are the feminine Aquarius watching this, this is you taking on this energy of you know, beauty, self-worth. This is a, somebody who knows their value, okay? And, and doesn't settle for anything less than what they deserve. So whether you're the male or the, the female watching this, the feminine here is valuable and she knows it. And she has a lot of options and she knows that she has options. So let's just see what we have here. Right now, there's definitely an admirer. There's a, there's a feeling. There's a feeling of, you know... There's a crush and wanting to move towards that crush, wanting to progress forward with that person. But in the past, I think that you have been really moping. You have been thinking, you have been maybe uh, focusing on the past, focusing on what is being lost, not realizing that this and other, there's a reason why things happen. There's a reason why. Um, people show up in your life and I think that you have had a hard time focusing on the future. You really were focusing on the past and it's, it's really been dominant. The past, all the, all the memories, everything that has happened has been dominant on your mind. Um, I think that there's been like a deep depression, you know, but now you're ready to focus on the future. There's, it's like you've been in a period of prolonged grief over letting something go. And I think that's where you've been. But right now, it's like, I think you, you're, you're, your heart is like, remember the intuition, okay? Your heart is like wanting more. And it's like your intuition is saying you got to follow your heart. You have to follow your heart. You're being poked, 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 poked to go, to move, to move forward, to deal with the pain, to deal with the, your the opposition of following your heart. So I think that... A lot of you have been staying in a situation that is probably unhealthy and unhappy, maybe because of fear, because this is the chariot reverse would be fear that is, has taken over. But I think that um, freedom is imminent. If you have not broken free yet, it is coming because this is freedom from somebody's control. This is this is literally um, severing ties. Um breaking free and I think that somebody definitely has been in a deep dark place mentally seriously they have they have but I think that that's below you now I think you're starting to realize you know things can get better if I leave this behind I know things can it's like a different mindset it's like you're 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 you are starting to see things differently like a new perspective I, in the future you're somebody's going to take action whether it's you or somebody else this would be an Aries Leo Sagittarius but it could be you taking action this is somebody who acts in a noble manner this is somebody that is strong uh makes a decision and sticks to it this is somebody that um doesn't just sit back and watch anymore it's like I have to take action it is time so in the future there is somebody that is going to take action they are it's like I gotta be I gotta boss up I gotta be the boss here I got I, I gotta take control I gotta take control of my life I, I gotta I gotta uh, do the right thing perhaps I gotta because this guy is very noble um
We also have the King of Swords here, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is you. But it could be also somebody in your environment. This is, you know, this is somebody who has really been thinking and investigating. He, But the investigation is over. I think that that uh, action is about to be. This is action. The investigation is over. You've already done all the thinking. There's been definitely been a state of depression here. There has. The advice, my advice to you, is to communicate how you are feeling. Now, it's not about, you have to, you know, yeah, somebody may get hurt. Their feelings may get hurt. But you have to follow your heart. It's not fair. It's not fair to you. So anyway, Aquarius, I feel like you have, there's some sort of divine guidance here with the Hierophant. There is. I think that you are highly intuitive at this time. You are really, 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 really being poked. Your gut is speaking to you and you need to believe in it. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in what you are hearing. I think that there's somebody, somebody may be married to somebody and, you know, hurting that other person is a problem. I think that you have been trapped. Some of you are trapped in a marriage that you don't want to be in. And you're, it's like you you may be dreaming about, you know, happiness and having fun with somebody else. You know what I mean? And maybe you're trapped in this marriage because of children. Maybe there's a few children involved, you know, and you don't want to leave because of the children. I feel like in the future, you are going to be breaking free from this commitment that you are in. I feel like right now you are, you are, uh, you know, you're trying to make things work, but it's not working. I don't think it's working. I don't. I think that you're, you're really trying to uh, do whatever it takes to work with somebody, but it's not working out. I don't think that it is. And I think that, uh, I honestly feel like you, somebody's been letting their, their fear of, of of rejecting whoever it is get in the way of their own happiness. Anyway, this month I think that you are going to uh, it's almost like breaking free from an old mindset and moving forward. That's what you're doing. You're moving forward. Some of you are actually moving. You're moving, or somebody is moving to your location. I think that you are, for some of you, there is a third party situation here. And you're having a hard time choosing. You're having a hard time choosing. And it's because somebody's going to get rejected. Somebody is going to get rejected. And I think that you have your eyes, or somebody has their eyes on you. It could go either way. Um... You somebody is over analyzed as well. There's been over analyzing here. It is seriously time to take action. Action is let's get let's see what's going to happen here with this King of Wands. That is somebody who is given. They've given to take action. They've already thought about it. It's time. Justice. Justice. Final decision. Yes, yes. This is a final. A decision is going to be made, and it is a decision between two. So, so Aquarius, I think this month there is going to be a final decision that is made between two options. It's about acting with integrity. It's about doing the right thing. So somebody is going to be making a decision and it's going to be, a, it's going to be a fair decision. There could also be some legalities this month. I mean, there could you somebody may be facing some legalities because with both of these cards right here and this one. So some of you and on a different note, other than relationship rise, other than relationship wise, somebody could be filing for divorce. Put it that way, and and that just came to me. There could be you know what it's time for me to file for divorce. Somebody could be getting divorce papers or you know, eviction, an eviction notice because there's moving here or something like that. Or um, there is some sort of severing of ties. There is. Some of you have been dealing with a Capricorn that is unhealthy, that is toxic. 
Some of you have been dealing with a Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, another Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I, f I feel like you guys are ready. You're ready to have some fun. You're ready to socialize. You're ready to get out of this trap. You're ready to get unstuck. You know, you've been stuck here long enough and it has been painful. It has. I think you have done everything that you can to make this work. And you're at the point now where you just can't do it anymore. It's like, you know what? I don't want to have to prove myself. I'm done proving myself. And you were, and I think a lot of it has to do with children. Somebody may have stayed in a situation because of the children or because, you know, the friends thought it was acceptable or to prove something to the friends or prove something to the family or, to, you know, I, yeah, that's what it does feel like. I think that somebody was trying to prove, you know, that, you know, we're happy. We can do this. We can get through this, but there's not happy. And I think there's a new opportunity for love that you just can't deny. It's like, I really have feelings for this other person, or I have a crush on this other person, or this other person has a crush on you, or there's just some sort of connection that can't be denied. But in order to move forward to this connection, you know, you have to break free from this unhealthy situation that you ha are tied to, that you have been bound to. So I think there is going to be a decision that is made, and it is the right decision. So, um, we have, there's some sort of protection here as well. Whoever you, somebody may be dealing with somebody that is in protection services or, you know, a protector in the, in the law or a police officer or in security or, cause this is protection and this is protection and this is law. There's something to do with, uh, you know security of some sort which is interesting I do feel like somebody is definitely going to have contact with the court or the law whatever however that resonates with you and, and this could be um, I don't know let's see wow we have three kings right here Something costing some money. But this guy acts with integrity and does the right thing. Something may cost somebody some money. There could be some financial costs. Whatever this is. There could also be a collaboration. To some people that are making some sort of decision. You know? There's definitely a decision being made. A choice being made. There could somebody could be dealing with a feminine. A fe if you are the male wa watching this, you may be dealing with a female that has multiple. I mean, really multiple. Remember, I said that with the empress, she has multiple options, and she is probably, you know, you could be dealing with a blonde. For for example, you could be dealing with a blonde woman who is talking with uh, three different men. Just saying. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Um, and she's going to make a choice this month. She's going to make a choice. So that could certainly be the case. We do have somebody here that is in a commitment. And they're trapped in a commitment. But there's three people. And this could be three women. At, there's three people here. There's a third party. There's absolutely three people here. One, two, three. Third party, third party. There's a third party situation here. There is. So I think this month there's going to be a choice. And somebody is going to get rejected. So be prepared for that. This third party situation right here too. So yeah. Somebody is going to get rejected. And I think that you know. Your intuition knows. Exactly what is going on. I think that. Uh. It's time to get unstuck. It is. It's t you should be celebrating your freedom. And maybe that's what you're going to do. You're going to be celebrating your freedom from this toxic, unhealthy situation. Good luck. 